Rock Advisor began about two years ago. Uh, it was originally called on.com. Only very few people know that. We had been playing around with the idea uh, for a little while before we were invited onto the NDRC Launchpad program, which was four months incubator, which moved us from concept to minimum viable product. And at the end of that, towards the end of that program, we were invited to be part of the Irish Times Fusion program, which was kind of fabulous because that, that took us to the next level and we began to see uh, the commercial value of it and how, um, how we would integrate with brands and how they would integrate with us and we became overall winners of that which we were absolutely delighted. winners <laughs> he likes that bit um, so so through our relationship with the Irish Times we began to explore the possibilities for our content channel and I suppose we'll get into it a little bit later about how, how uh, Frog Advisor actually works but we are now uh, part of the Wira Academy alumni and uh, that's been incredible as well so that's about kind of scaling the idea out through uh, Telefonica's 300 million handset users and really growing the proposition to become global. 300 million. <laughs> um, you're underselling us a little bit. While we were doing off the rails. For, I'm looking to you yeah, to yeah. fill in the gaps. I'm going for it. Uh, we, we wrote two books because we are not only fashion designers, we are also authors. And the books were actually to accompany the series. And in the back of the books, as a very throwaway element, uh, was a boutique guide and that was to chart the landscape across your comment on the to tell you what was in your village and what was available and our very lovely assistant at the time Colm is a very good friend of ours um, we would hang up the phone going this is hilarious they don't even have a Facebook because we were just putting like their name and boutique what they stock labels and like the icons and as we discovered and then we did proper global research only 19% 1919 had any sort of online presence this is in the independent fashion sector so basically what was happening was fashion was split into three camp so you know sort of fast fashion which was cheap accessible fully resourced fully engaged top shop yeah so departmental in its structure and then at the top end the luxury market same thing fully resourced fully engaged and this sort of center independent sector had had no support and they were terrified by the, the fear of cost time technology implementation so they were doing nothing they were absolutely stagnating but with that realization that none of them are online was and I'm gonna swear we were like how the fuck are they still in business and they're still in business because of this massive loyal tribe of women who collect each other's kids who go in they want something different for use of a better phrase so they go to these boutiques and they're mates and they they go to the boutiques because it's kind of like following your favorite football team in female terms they love that tribe so we were like hang on a second there's a big gap that's not being filled and that's the fact that they're not engaging online but they still have customers and and the last piece of puzzle for us was if we had gone to them two and a half years ago they would have said no no we're only interested in customer service they now get that if it's even two tin cans and a piece of string to engage that customer digitally on a friday night means reward and they know that now so frog advisory is that solution and in our research when we were doing all our customer validation piece it was just unequivocal those retailers who had engaged online were looking at revenue increases of up to 30 percent in the last 10, two years and those that hadn't were down up to 30 percent so least. this massive sort of 60 percent chasm in terms of revenue uh, possible revenue and and so the boutiques realized that, the, that this is something that they had to do um, to, to simply exi keep existing to service their loyal community and to grow their audience they needed to be online